Hello tribe, welcome back to the channel. So I'll try to come back with more videos for you from now on. And we're gonna check in, we're gonna see what's happening next week, week and a half. Let's get to it. Panel number one is here, two and three. And see which one draws your attention. I will see you on timestamps. Hey group number one, so I'll try to put out more videos in the coming week unless I'm gonna get crazy busy with clients or this other thing that I'm doing right now. You probably have seen it. If you are new here, I'll let you know about it. I am making handmade soaps, they are ritual soaps. Um, those are focused on not only physical but spiritual hygiene. That is something that I needed myself and I decided to create it myself and I use it every day. The most potent energy cleanser is of course the black obsidian soap i'll put it on the screen right now because it has pure sage and black pepper essential oils together with powders in it and if you want something that is a little bit lighter um, to wake you up and to help you with mental clarity i would suggest the selenite soap which has the peppermint pure peppermint and menthol in it and there is an everyday soap. You'll check it out. I'll leave the link for you. Um, I don't have all of them up just yet. Aventurine soap is coming. Um, I'll try to photograph it and put it on my website the coming week. But yeah, for any of my people who are working with energy or you tend to bring baggage home, bathe in the ritual soap. Or maybe you want to gift it to someone. It does come in a really nice package. And if that is a gift, of course, when buying it, let me know. Either send me an email or leave a note. I will know that you want to send it to someone. Okay, let's get to it. We have creativity, exactly what I just talked about in the intro, and we have deception. How is creativity impacting your next week, week and a half? We have five of pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles. It feels like someone's creative block is being lifted. If that's something that you have been experiencing. Um, some of you may even come up with a new idea of some sorts here. A new idea for a project or idea how to sort the problem out. And you're going to have a very creative approach. It may not be an approach that everyone would come up with or many people would come up with but it seems like overall for panel number one creativity probably you've noticed that in your life is the way to go creativity makes you more relaxed you don't overthink an issue you don't overthink a problem you just go okay what does feel right how should i approach the situation okay let's see what else how is creativity ideas ideas you full of ideas the next week my group number one you're busy with those ideas. You may have to juggle a couple of things at once. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. Look, uh, a lot of you are being blessed with a business idea or a project idea would it be something that you're still gonna be birthing or something that is already existent it does seem like again you're very connected to your intuition so you're creating from your heart you're creating from this inner gps from the higher self what does that do here um, it helps you feel more independent or it can bring more income so maybe you have a job and you're thinking about something on the side a hobby that can turn into business some of you are figuring out the ins and outs the pros the cons i feel like that's going to be a really great week for my people who in general are doing any day wise um, you, you're selling something um, doesn't matter if you have already a business set up or not this is a great week for my people to tune into that creativity don't abandon it i feel like you can fly pretty high people will want what you're offering in general your inner child is free the next week and i really like that 
even when I look at the five of pentacles in this setting over here, in this spread, this doesn't feel like a bad card or a sad card for me or I'm not feeling alone or lonely. This makes me feel that this is a grown version of yours, taking your inner child out of some sort of a misery. Letting your inner child feel free. Sorry, there were not supposed to be any ads in this uh, meditation music, but it happens sometimes. You're setting them free. You may even do something or come up with something, pile number uh, one, that's somehow connected to the past. Maybe something that you loved doing in the past and you abandoned it, now you're picking it up, okay? Um, I don't know, you loved sewing when you were a kid or you loved doing something that is very unique and you were good at it and you abandoned it for, for years. It may come back. Uh, because it's something that is seems like it's important on your path here. Let's clarify deception. Uh, someone's acting shady. The mask will come off. How does this connect to your next week, week and a half? How does this connect to your next week, week and a half? Mm-hmm. Again, it's interesting because I shuffled it and I am just basically allowing the gravity to do the work. And you have the same two cards come up here, okay? The mask is definitely falling off here. Who is that re related to? Who is that related to? Your dreams and hopes. I see you. I see you. Okay, listen. This is not a different story. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the high priestess. Again, intuition here coming through strongly. You will be able to see past any um, deception or masks the next week, week and a half. You're much more in tune. And it makes a lot of sense because when you are creative, you are in touch with that side of yourself. And uh, this seems like not only that makes you happy and you are excited, you are motivated, you feel like you're fired up, but it also opens up this other part of you, this connection that you have to the things and people and environment around you. You're basically feeling everything around you next week. Some of you will want to shut it off. Some of you are like, listen, I'm tired. Okay, it's too much. I, I need to focus a little bit more on what's right here around me to ground myself in. So if that's the case, uh, connect to nature. Nature always helps you ground yourself or cook yourself a really grounding meal. But for most of you, it seems like you're using this inner GPS to detect any lies, any ill intent. Um, not necessarily that dramatic. It could be someone asks you a question and you go i don't really know this person very well i don't feel like i should answer um, with too much detail and i won't because you feel that something may be off or you're not supposed to because maybe they're gonna say it to someone else or you don't want them to spread that information around so another thing that i'm seeing here you may if you were suspecting someone the mask will fall off. Basically, if anyone tried to hide anything from you next week, it will come to the surface. No one can hide from you, pile number one, next week. You are able to dig deep and to, and to find the deepest, darkest secrets, it seems like, of people. For my intuitive people, those who work uh, with tarot and divination, you will be able to tap right into the problem when you're waiting for someone. I feel like people will be grateful for that because the advice will be beneficial. Um, we can pull out the roots. The roots that are not allowing other plants to grow around. Um, let me see what else. In general, um, if you are a person, someone who tends to hide behind masks, and we all do that, right? But you, I'm talking to those people who tend to be so shy that they have 
put on so many masks and and it's very it's draining it's draining to keep up with all of them maybe my people please us too next week you you will not want to have that many masks with you people may even say hey you feel different you look different you act differently but i i really feel like it's because you see it how it is with the king of swords and you don't want to be around the bush you also have the emperor here you may sit more so when connecting communicating with people you may sit more so in your masculine energy mm -hmm. so your feminine is tapped in you're very intuitive and your masculine does and says so this is a really good combo why is the ten of swords here your words are very powerful the next week so make sure um, you speak with intention what is your intention be behind your words okay another thing here with deception if someone tells you who they are believe them next week don't second guess it believe them so that's what I got now if you do want to check out my handmade ritual soaps I will put a link somewhere up there um, and I will see you in the next one thanks for being here bye for now very quickly before we start i would like to let you know about my passion project that's something that i needed myself and i have decided to create it uh, with a strong intention for it not only to be a physical cleanser but a spiritual one too as you know i have been reading tarot for a long time and i've done various of cleansing techniques and what helped me the most was the essential oils that i used to put on my wrist and I decided to create ritual bath soaps so I can bathe myself after a day, neutralize myself. Every ritual soap is called after a gemstone so that you can understand a bit more what that soap does. And every ingredient is carefully selected to synergize, harnessing their powerful spiritual properties. If you want to, check it out. Or maybe you want to gift it to someone for Christmas, a spiritual bestie or family member. Or if you know someone who tends to be quite an empath and they bring a lot of baggage from the outside home, this would be great for that too. Let's get back to the video. Hey, group number two, let's see what we have for you. We have reconciliation and discipline. Let's see. We're going to be using the Urban Tarot. let's start with reconciliation what does that have to say for the next week we can have seven of wands oh definitely ten of cups the hierophant mm -hmm. how are you gonna feel about that the five of pentacles and the Knight of Wands, which is called the rock star in this deck. Mm -hmm. What is the highlight about this reconciliation? Four of Swords and happiness. Okay, all good. Um, next week, what you may experience, it feels like a pattern to me that repeats itself. Uh, it feels like a, a feeling that you may keep getting during the week that you want to see the people you haven't seen for a long time or you want to spend a bit more time with your family with your partner your wife your husband your lover it's a feeling of unity that we have here i want to protect you i care for you i care about your safety i care about your happiness over here and make time for it pal number two make time for people the next week now this feels like a bit of a collective energy to me so it may not only come from your side you may experience that yourself where someone calls you and says hey it's been 10 years or it's been a year it's been a month doesn't matter how long it has passed people want to reunite and yeah for some of you what may show up this is <laughs> this is for a couple of you what may show up on, on, on your 
doorstep even though I want to say uh, you may pass pass them by somewhere is someone that you used to date for others of you you're gonna hear a phone call you're gonna hear a email notification or a message and yeah you may not really like it at first but I feel like after some consideration you're gonna take it as a compliment that some they remember me there is a reason why they remember me <laughs> uh, yeah people want to be connected the next week people want to be connected people want to talk about uh, the past memories people want to talk about their plans what they're still gonna do what they're gonna experience together or separately it's a really good time for barbecues for cooking dinner together for whining and dining but it has to be it's being shown as a very cozy experience it's an experience pile number two okay an experience of bonding um, time is the most precious currency that you can give to someone and I really feel like everyone in this gathering appreciates that and I don't only see one gathering for you I feel like you may be pretty busy socializing next week in general maybe some of you have uh, work meetings I'm seeing you surrounded by a lot of people and I'm seeing people eat um, and laugh and enjoy yes maybe at work you're not gonna feel as relaxed as with your family or your chosen family but I still feel like it's gonna be a good vibe for most of you you may even connect to someone that you feel very close to someone that you haven't maybe met at all like in the work in the work scenario here someone who works in a same company but different departments and then you go and get yourself a plate of food in a buffet or somewhere and then they start chatting you up and you go oh my god this person's energy feels familiar I feel like we could hang out sometime then you go for a coffee or you text each other on the break you want to eat together and then a new friendship starts so for you for pile number two it's a lot to do with relationships and friendships this coming week okay let's continue discipline and I'm gonna swap decks for this portion of the video what about discipline what do you need to know about discipline You have the King of Wands, the Nine of Wands. You have the Nine of Cups. You have it, the Eight of Swords. I just heard um, a sentence, someone cracked a code. Maybe literally for some of you, we have the Lovers. We have the Six of Wands, yeah. And knight of pentacles listen my people you're being rewarded for your consistency or discipline next week we're gonna have now i don't know if you are the people who already worked on it and you're getting rewarded for it the coming week or you are my people one second who will start learning how to be better discipline wise the next week and rewards are coming later on but what you gotta know, your patience, your dedication, your consistency will be rewarded. It doesn't matter if it's gonna be next week, next couple of weeks. Keep going at it. I don't know what you're working on here, and I don't really care to be honest. It's for all of those people who have been investing in a particular goal for a while now or who said to themselves made a promise made a vow and the spirit world was watching by the way i made a decision i'm gonna get better at discipline because discipline brings me success and i know that and i can celebrate it later but i will have to be pretty patient with myself <laughs> I'm gonna have to take it one step at a time it may be difficult with nine of wands here at times I may want to run away I may want to not do something 
but I feel like if you are committed to this, you gonna get far. Sometimes your mind will want to trick you. Oh, don't get up, don't do this. Your body wants to sleep, let's not do that, right? Um, but I feel like you'll overcome this. You may be even using this technique. You know that you gotta do something and whenever you start counting in your head from three, two, one, one you get up without thinking or doing anything, one you get up and go and do it. Three, two, one, it's a really good technique. I feel like, um, I think it's by Mel Robbins. Um, she was talking about it and it really, really works. I need to do this more frequently myself whenever I start procrastinating. And it feels like procrastination is something that some of you may want to fix or may want to get a little bit better at or you might want to do less of, you know, get at procrastination, <laughs> better at procrastination. No, that's not what I'm saying. But you're getting better at discipline and consistency. And maybe that's something that you don't like. And you know, this may be the shadow aspect, right? Have a lack of it. Not being committed enough to something. But that shadow aspect, if you work with it, if you understand it, you can achieve quite a lot, part number two. So keep cracking at it. Keep cracking at it. Don't give up. I don't know for who this is, but don't give up on something, okay? Not much left. And I'm talking to those who've been working on something for a long time. Not much left. You will get there. And again, if you want to check out my handmade soaps, ritual soaps, or gift it to someone, check out this link somewhere here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Very quickly before we start, I would like to let you know about my passion project. That's something that I needed myself and I have decided to create it uh, with a strong intention for it not only to be a physical cleanser but a spiritual one too. As you know, I have been reading tarot for a long time and I've done various of cleansing techniques and what helped me the most was the essential oils that I used to put on my wrist. And I decided to create ritual bath soaps so I can bathe myself after a day, neutralize myself. Every ritual soap is called after a gemstone so that you can understand a bit more what that soap does. And every ingredient is carefully selected to synergize, harnessing their powerful spiritual properties. If you want to, check it out. Or maybe you want to gift it to someone for Christmas, a spiritual bestie or family member. Or if you know someone who tends to be quite an empath and they bring a lot of baggage from the outside home, this would be great for that too. Let's get back to the video. Hello, pan number three. So let's see what we got here for you. We have a father and we have property. Okay, okay, let's clarify. How is the father figure influential to your next week, week and a half? How is your father figure influential next week, week and a half? Ooh, ooh, what a contrast. Okay, three of cups, two of swords. Page of Wands, Six of Swords, bottom of the deck we have the Tower, mm -hmm. it seems like someone may want to work past an issue they may have had with a father figure. Or someone, um, an individual who is a father themselves. So it doesn't necessarily have to be your father. Um, this is someone who has children. Someone wants to work on a wound or make something better here. But in order to make it happen, a certain setup needs to take place. Uh, almost as if I'm seeing the ambience has to be set. 
So I don't know if someone is having dinner, um, if someone waits for a good mood, um, or for their energy to be a bit more balanced, or for a right time. Now, if you don't have any wound that straight away comes to your head in this situation, then it seems like a father figure, could be even a brother or a friend, okay? Um, someone who has this fatherly archetype is able to heal the heart. And uh, they may be helping you with that. And it may be only their, you know, their presence that helps you with that. Or how they talk, what they say, how they see you, they can see you and you see and you feel seen, you feel heard, you feel understood. Another thing that I'm seeing here, situation, if you will need help in the workplace or something that you are doing, I'm seeing a day why uh, a father can help. Basically, this figure has the answer. You may want to call them up. I don't know, for example, you're constructing something and you go, I have no idea how to do this. Let me go on Google. Call them. Call the person. Don't go on ChatGPT and don't go on Google. Why? Yes, you can find answers there because they would love to help you. This person will feel seen and needed. This is someone who loves to help. This is someone who loves to care for others. So obviously this part of a reading is not for you if you had a really bad relationship with a father or you had a falling out with this individual that I'm talking about, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I'm hearing together we can move forward. Together we can get to a better place. Together, if we are the same team, we're able to fly high. Together we can be lucky and attract a lot more. Teamwork with that kind of individual is the way to go. Vulnerability is also a way to go. Making sure you are good friends for each other is the way to go. Somehow, when you two are together, when you two talk, um, it seems like those energies intertwine and something wonderful happens. I don't know, would it be a realization that hits you and you go, oh my God, that was strong and I got my answer uh, and my, my hands are suddenly getting very hot right now, but it's very nice and my hands are most of the time cold, um, most of the time. There is warmth here. Someone has healing hands or healing energy. Both of you, maybe you come together and then boom, something great happens afterwards. But specifically, someone can heal the heart or help the hearts heal. Help the hearts heal because people heal themselves. This is sweet. I love this. This could even be, you know, your friend who has this fatherly energy your brother who is the father maybe your mother was a father and a mother right you're talking energy we're not talking a literal father here so keep that in mind okay what about property focus point property Focus point property. Let's look at this. Mm -hmm. Home, home, home and family. Someone may be focused on negotiations or researching about property or the prices. Mm-hmm. Or someone is confused about a living situation here. But I don't really know why because it doesn't feel like... Yeah, I split the deck, we have the Empress. It doesn't feel like there is a reason to be confused here. Uh, why is this confusion here? <laughs> 
It's something to do with the commitment here to the home. Uh, do I want to be tied, tied up to this? Sorry guys, my phone storage was full and I didn't notice and I kept on talking and talking. So to repeat what I said, um, someone may be thinking, hey, do I want to be tied to this environment? Do you want to sign this contract? Do you want to live in this home? Some of you may be making plans where to move, what property to buy. If that's not the case, then someone may be thinking, like my phone storage was full, right? Uh, what do I want to throw out of the house? What I don't need? I don't want to go into... Um, some of you have a very particular belief belief system or particular way of celebrating or looking at Christmas and um, or New Year and you don't want to go into the holiday with a lot of stuff that may be dragging you down because material things hold energy right you don't want those things to collect more dust another year so it's a great time for my people to be throwing old stuff out and you'll feel so refreshed you will notice even you you'll get the mind clarity about clearing your own home let's talk about one more thing here some of you will want to decorate your home or you are looking for gifts to buy to someone for someone to lift up the ambience of the home maybe i have given just an idea for someone right now if that's the case you're welcome <laughs> um, there is something about my home needing to smell good to look good but also i want selected people there you may be very protective of who you invite in your space because you don't want someone to ruin your vibe your energy in the house and i really feel like you're doing the right thing here i don't feel like um, you're being uh, an asshole here i feel like you're being fair because that's your sanctuary and you don't want anyone to ruin that sanctuary for you and i feel like that's all i have for pile number three if you want to check out my ritual handmade soaps head over here to this link and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.